Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. For today, we are looking at the Vinyl Crackers Generator. I'm going to give this one, I'd say, a 2.9 out of 5. There's one really unique thing about this plugin that I've not seen pretty much anywhere else, especially for Vinyl Cracker, uh, cra Crackers, Vinyl Crackles, excuse me, uh, especially for like lo-fi music, hip-hop, or whatever, and that is this. You can trigger it via MIDI as opposed to an on and off switch. So to play it, so to speak. All right. All I have to do is hold the note, let it go. It does say there's 80 different samples. After messing around with it, it's really just pitch based. And it also depends if you play it, like say, a higher pitch, it more pans to the right, especially if you're listening to this with headphones. You can even see this right here. Or as you get lower, it pans to the left. So if I have this here, right, you can see a bit more of a pan on the left. Actually, I actually guess it fluctuates. I take that back. But does it always start more on the left? It's interesting. Big pro tip on saying I like to do this sometimes when the stereo with elements are just a bit too all over the place. Just throw this on here like that. All right, that way it's, I think, a bit easier to deal with. And then let's say if I do want to add some width back into it, I know it sounds kind of redundant to put it in mono and then put it back into some type of a, what you would call it, stereo. If I want to add some stereo width, just throw on the uh, ozone imager. I think I like mode two better. That way, a bit smoother there. But anyway, I'll turn these off. I'll leave it as is for right now, but just to show you a little cool pro tip. But being honest, again, it seems like the same sample, but it's kind of pitched. Odd side effect there too. So maybe it is different samples. It's, I don't know, to me it sounds like the same one. I do have a bunch of effects here in terms of the amplitude, sound modulations. Being honest, I think I would really just use this just for the sample itself. The reason why I did want to review this plugin, because every plugin I review, I always ask myself, is this actually useful? Because if it's not, there's no point for you to make a video, in my opinion, and say, yeah, don't download it, right? And that's if I go here. Now to show you vinyl, um, arguably this is the most, I'd say, uh, famous, it's already, see, it's already going, um, most famous vinyl plugin in terms of like lo-fi or dust. If I turn this on, you can probably already hear it, right? I have this. And it's kind of annoying in, in my mind that, yeah, I can adjust the gain and I can go to configure and do it this way, right? But what's kind of annoying is it's almost automatically on or off and I can only adjust it by turning it on and off. With this, to uh, turn this off, ironically, with this, I do like that literally I just hit a note as if I'm playing a note on piano, another VST, like a synth or whatever, and then that's it. So pretty simple plugin, pretty straightforward, being honest. Even all these modulations and different knobs you see here, I don't think are as useful. If you do want to add any effects, I do suggest doing this just with an Ableton or your given DAW. But it is a very useful plugin. If you actually want those vinyl crackles and that kind of like lo-fi vinyl kind of duster element that you want, you just put this in. You can even add MIDI. I'll show you how to do that as well. And then you're pretty much good to go. So to show you, um, let's do this here. You know, if I actually want to add in some MIDI here, uh, let's do this. I usually produce with a mouse. I don't know how people produce with the trackpad. Um, for right now, I'm just obviously filming this video with the trackpad, but I can do this, right? And I like that I can do that and then trigger it however I want. So if I actually even want this in spurts, um, let's put this like at like 140. So if I do like this or whatever, um, I can do this. Right, as opposed to the other plugins like the Isotope one or whatever, I'd have to like modulate the automation, everything, because it's automatically on or off. Kind of annoying with this, I like that you can trigger it via MIDI.